there folks happy friday and um hope you're doing well this is an early super soul session um we were going to go live at 12 but um there was a slight change of schedule today i'll mention more about that in a moment but uh it's friday that means it's super soul sessions for entrepreneurs i see these sessions as being an opportunity to give soul support to entrepreneurs um in their day-to-day -day business and uh, for those of you that don't know me i'm louise wilson i'm an entrepreneur business coach and soul coach i support entrepreneurs to connect with their intuition to connect with their soul to support them in realizing their hairy scary goals and dreams so for today's session um super soul session i felt a really important to topic for us to discover because i think it's something we all grapple with is how to avoid screwing up your breakthrough. And um, as entrepreneurs, you know, we have some pretty big goals. And um, oftentimes, you know, having those big goals, you know, we can set them, but there's things that we need to do. There's ways that we need to be to achieve them. And um, if you're catching us here live, I'd love to for you to give us a wave and tell us where you're joining us from and also if you catch these on the replay um everybody you know love to hear any ahas breakthroughs you have as a result of uh, joining me on this live but going back to how to avoid screwing up your breakthrough the here's the deal um when you're going for that big goal i believe that there's something deep inside of you something intuitive deeply intuitive that's pushing you to have the big dream in the first place. And sometimes those dreams can feel so big, so wild, so crazy, that you might even question, what the heck am I thinking? And I would just encourage you to really lean in, lean in even more deeply to that place inside of you that wants this for you, because you want it for yourself. And that place inside of you knows you already have everything you need to achieve it. So that's the first thing. So you're going for this big goal and um, you have targets, you have things that you're going to do. And oftentimes it's when we're really close, when we're really pushing ourselves out of the box, out of those boundaries, that we actually start to hit the things, the barriers, the blocks that could cause us, if we don't pay attention, to screw up, mess up, turn around, walk away. And the things I'm talking about particularly are when, when you're going for that big goal, oftentimes you might start to feel some resistance within you. So the first thing is really to pay attention. Pay attention what you're feeling in your body. Pay attention what you're feeling in your head. You might start to feel incredibly overwhelmed. Like, I don't know what to focus on. I don't know where to put my attention. I don't know what to do next. And these are all just... Um, a bit awake here on this dock. These are all just um, your conscious mind, your ego, really wanting to be like, whoa, hold up, stop, right? And the way it can stop you is to create confusion for you. So you might be, um, yeah, thinking, okay, what do I do? I feel overwhelmed. Or you may just feel <laughs> so scared. You just want to put the brakes on. You just don't want to go through it so I think really paying attention to how you're feeling and um, you may this is another sign really of um, self-sabotage is to um, want to change direction there might be a part of you that might be thinking oh I don't know enough I don't have enough I need to do more training or I need to get more help or I need more research or maybe I should do this other thing instead this other thing seems more logical and it's just your brain <laughs> tricking you in a way your conscious mind ego tricking you because it doesn't want to do it so it really is a question it's down to you really i think as entrepreneurs as solo entrepreneurs you know when you're working going solo it can be so easy to um not go through with it and that's why we need a coach that's why you know show me one olympic athlete that doesn't have a coach that will push them to be their infinitely best self, you know, because they see their potential. And if you don't have a coach by your side or somebody that's going to really push you to push through those blocks, boundaries, fears, whatever it is, it's going to be 
you'll keep going around in circles because you'll keep defaulting to overwhelm, procrastination, going in shiny object syndrome, doing everything but the thing that you need to do. And, and now I'm just going to circle back to those big goals of yours require something of you. Those big goals of you require you to be courageous. They require you to be fearless. And um, I think the more you can really start to trust yourself more, be really in that zone and alignment of complete trust in yourself, your abilities, your direction. And I think the more that you can lean into your intuition, the more that trust muscle is going to strengthen within you. So um, very much avoiding screw ups is paying attention when you're feeling like you're resisting, overwhelm, you want to change direction, um, or maybe you feel like you've made a mistake and you just want to walk away, whatever it is, just pay attention, take a deep breath and keep going one step in front of the other. Trust your intuition. Now, intuition, I think, is so powerful. When I get overwhelmed, oftentimes I'll sleep on it and I'll work with my dreams because I'm working with my guides, I'm working with my intuition in the nighttime hours. And you probably notice times for you where you've woken up with an answer. What I'm really focusing on here is that your intuition will guide you, your soul will guide you. It has that higher level and higher vision. So you really need to um, cultivate that connection. It's so powerful to cultivate that connection. That's why... You know, I created my live workshop Clarity Now because it supports entrepreneurs in just three hours to have that direct one-on-one -on -one conversation, get the clarity, and then know the steps that you need to take. And um, the other thing that the workshop will do is help you uncover the invisible blocks. What's actually, what are the things that are actually coming up for you that are making you feel this way? And there are two things. Some are conscious to you and some are unconscious to you. Your conscious beliefs, you know, maybe you already, if you're really honest with yourself and you think about those big goals, there may just be a part of you that is like, I don't really know if I've got what it takes. I don't really know if I'm enough. And I just want to say, if you've had the vision, you've seen it, it's for you. You do have everything you need, but it's about letting go of the things, the beliefs, the fears, all of the stuff. These fears, you know, conscious to you, likely they can be attributed if you really dig deep um, to something that happened to you, you know, over the course of your lifetime, where somebody told you that you weren't enough or you'll never, you know, be anything or you have to work hard or whatever it is, you know. Um, when we come into this world, we come as infinite beings and there's layer upon layer of patterning and programming that is really, that's our beliefs. So oftentimes, you know, your resistance, it could be a conscious belief that you really don't really, 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 really believe that you can do this. Now, a lot of our beliefs, the challenge, the biggest challenge is a lot of the beliefs, a lot of the things that are blocking us are actually unconscious to us. And the reason why they're unconscious to us is that they are buried within our subconscious mind. And that's because they happen before we were age seven, they could have happened in your mother's womb. Um, they could. The studies have shown how um, you know babies, uh, fetuses in the womb, how they respond and react to their mothers. Bruce Lipton's done a whole lot of um, research on this, on the, on the biology of belief, and also you know how children are impacted by the thoughts, beliefs of their mother, and we are aff affected by the thoughts, beliefs, feelings of. Um, you know, the people around us, we're affected by our environment. So a lot of beliefs are unconscious to you. Now, here's where it gets really tricky because as infinite immortal beings, we have past lives that we've lived and we have an ancestral history. So now we're talking about all of the stuff, all of the beliefs. Um, some of them aren't even ours because they are, belong to our ancestors. They are a result of the environment they lived in and that's been passed down through the generation through epigenetic, epigenetic mechanisms to us. So it's not even our stuff. What the heck, you know? So stop beating yourself up that, it's, um, that you're not enough because you are enough. You are an infinite, immortal, spiritual being. And I, I just want to wrap this session now by saying that um, 
You know, the more that you can lean in, the more that you can tap into your intuition, the more that you can build your spiritual muscles, the more you're going to feel clear, confident. You know what you're doing. You know where you're meant to go. Don't forget, your soul has that higher vision for you. And of course, your ancestors and spirit guides are always, always in the wings. And if any of this is landing for you, resonating for you, and you're like a heck yes, I just, I need to get more dialed into my intuition. I'd love for you to join me. Put the date in your diary. Sunday the 2nd of April, I'm running my live masterclass. It's a three hour workshop. You get to work with me. We get to hang out live. You get to have that one-on-one conversation with your soul, your ancestors, spirit guides, and you're really going to get super dialed in on what you're meant to be doing, where you're going, how to get there, the steps you need to take. Very importantly, who's supporting you right now here, you know, um, in the physical realms, but in the realms of spirit. And what are the blocks? What are some of those past life and ancestral beliefs that are holding you back? So I hope you've enjoyed um, today's Super Soul session. I think the biggest uh, point to take away is the more you lean into your intuition, the more you're going to be guided, the more you strengthen those spiritual muscles, the more clear and confident you're going to become. And um, it'll help you. Your soul will help you. It will guide you. And I think the more we feel confident in our abilities, confident in ourselves, confident in our direction, we become unstoppable. And your soul will give you that clarity, strength and confidence. So hope you enjoyed it. Love to hear your takeaways, ahas and um, DM me if you next Super Soul session is Monday noon. I'd love you to DM me if you have a particular question or anything that you want answered. Um, Before I sign off, um, I'd love to give you a view of uh, the sunrise here. I'm going to turn it off. We're going into the sun. So happy Friday, folks. There we have it. I just came over on my little boat. She's there. Um, I'm actually here right now. Uh, The reason why I am doing this live early is because um, I'm doing some boat safety. And uh, yeah, so I'll be in that... uh, training this afternoon so that's why I couldn't do it on um, at lunchtime all right folks love you lots uh love to hear your takeaways and ciao for now